Hello everyone, welcome to Unruly Guides. This is Suzanne Fury Parrott. In this video, I want to show you how to easily split your chapters without having to use that chapter break in Sigil. Especially, and this is very good for people who have like 70 chapters or you know 100 poems. And so to do this, you would open your file in Sigil. Now I'm just using the example file that we have in our kit and you can see that it has the cover page, it has the copyright page, table of contents, acknowledgments, and about Mark Twain. Now notice that each one has a different heading, like this one's a heading one tag, so it's larger. This one is a smaller heading that I chose. Um, the copyright page doesn't have a heading at all. So before I would have you go to the code, go to between the paragraph tag and of the ending paragraph and the new heading and do the split, which is up here at chapter break. But a much easier way, especially for long chapters, is to simply place your cursor in front of the new chapter. So we want the cover page on its own page up here. So we want name of your book, which is the copyright page, on its own. So what you do is you put your cursor in front of there and you go under insert SGF chapter break or chapter marker. Now it will look like a horizontal rule, which is exactly what it is. Now you can scroll down to Table of Contents and do the same thing. Insert a chapter marker. Now if you have 70 chapters, you don't want to go through and do them all. Odds are your chapters for your poems will have a chapter name, a title, like Acknowledgements. So what I'm going to do is show you what the chapter marker looks like first. So I'm going to highlight it so I can see it. I'm going to enlarge this so you can see it. And it's actually a horizontal rule with a classification or class of Sigil chapter break. I want you to highlight that and copy it, which is Command or Control C. Now, our chapters, I'm going to go down to Acknowledgements. Scroll down. Okay, here it is. It's on an H1 tag. Now, you may have an H1 tag with other classifications or even an ID in there. We're going to use the find and replace, but we're only going to find and replace the opening bracket H1. So to do that, you're going to go Command and Control F, and this will bring up a find and replace window. Now you can see I highlighted the H1, but you can easily just type it in. You want to go bracket H1. That's all you want to put in there. Then you're going to replace it with your chapter break, which I have pasted in here already. And we'll just do that again. You would go Command or Control V, and it would paste in what I had highlighted. And then at the end, I'm going to just put a small space, and I'm going to type H1, bracket H1, because I want to replace. I don't want to remove it. I want to replace it. So now it's in the current file, because all your chapters should be here, and you're going to go replace all. Now it says it did it two times. Now sometimes you might have to go again. So I always just do it again. Replace all. Now, what you want to make sure is you didn't do it twice in some of the chapters. So I'm going to scroll back down. And I can see that I have an opening chapter or horizontal rule, chapter break, and the H1. Now here's the beauty of it. You can go back, you can scroll, and you can look. So a horizontal rule, horizontal rule, another one, and another one. So you've got them all in place. Here's the fun part. Go to Tools, go to Split on SGF Chapter Markers, and look what it did on the left. It split every single one of your pages for you. All you have to do now is rename them. So that is a very easy way to, to split a very large file that has a ton of chapters. And this is really good for poetry, nonfiction books. Um, so if you have any questions, just visit me on Unruly Guides. This is going to be also in our kit. We're coming out with version 3.0 at the end of January 2012. Good formatting. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you soon. Bye.